The New York Rangers are a pretty good team. They've been doing all this great stuff this season, and they've been really just taking the entire Metropolitan Division by storm. They're right here tied for first with the Carolina Hurricanes, although the Hurricanes do have three fewer games played. But this Rangers team is so good, they're so legit, and they're still so fresh into this tenure of success, I guess you could say, that it's honestly been somewhat of a surprise to many people seeing how well the Rangers have done. Which is why, even though they're technically one of the best teams in the NHL, and even though they're probably going to make the playoffs, the entire conversation going around as to whether or not the Rangers should be a buyer or a seller at the trade deadline, maybe they stay put, maybe they just run the course, who really knows, this conversation has been a little bit more difficult to identify when it comes to the Rangers and what they should be doing. However, if you want to go ahead and say that this team is legit, this team is just that gosh darn good, and they have themselves a pretty good team that is worthy of making a run this year, you might be of the opinion that the Rangers should go out there and make themselves a splash. We've been making a ton of trade rumor videos about the Rangers because they're a team that just has so much going on that you can talk about their need for a defenseman. You can talk about their need for a forward. Sammy Blay being out of the season makes it very easy to identify targets that could be on the Rangers' radar when it comes to their middle six or their top six. You can talk about defense because they could use a big guy who could log up more minutes. I think Rangers Rangers fans might just be some of the luckiest fans in the NHL right now, based off of everything you have to work with. Talent up front? Yeah, you got that. Winning games? Yeah, you got that. Young talent? Yeah, you got that. And so, when it comes to the potential of the Rangers being a buyer, let's go over one of the ideas that was proposed on, I believe it was NHL Network. The article that we're sourcing here comes from the New York Post by Ethan Sears. The Rangers standing as serious Stanley Cup contender comes with a caveat. This article goes over what exactly this team should be able to do, whether or not they can go over and have a run, how Igor Shashurkin is pretty good, how this team is so diversified when it comes to its production, and how the guys up top, Panarin, Kreider, Zabanajad, and Fox are all playing extraordinarily well. They go over a whole bunch of stuff, so how good Fox is, comparables to his game, what exactly the status of this team is, and how much of a statement they've been making with this season. How further along into the future could they still be a contender? It's all very positive stuff. However, Kevin Weeks does say this too. One could make the case that they could try to get another top six winger. Could they want someone like a Tyler Toffoli from Montreal? Tyler Toffoli could be of use, as could some blue line depth, but it's hard to nitpick the way the Rangers are playing right now. If this was how they were playing at the end of April, you would really like their chances. They're kicking on all cylinders. And so, I want to make this very clear that this video is not a conversation we're having out of a necessity for the Rangers. This is not something they need to do. But, is this something they could do and something they could benefit from if they were going to do it? Yeah, I think that's a great way to put it. So, let's go over the New York Rangers and Tyler Toffoli. Ravioli, Ravioli, Tyler Toffoli himself. What's in the pocket, Oli? I got a lot of people who kind of contacted me about that. If you know where that's from, then hey, you're an absolute legend. But when it comes to the New York Rangers, this is a team that does have itself the option to go out there and do some pretty flexible things with their roster. They've got $4.8 million in cap space right now, and zero of the LTIR money used up. So this is pretty much just a regular team with no hocus-pocus Harry Potter stuff going on under the salary cap hood right there. Tyler Toffoli is making $4.25 million a season till 2023-2024. It's a pretty beefy contract, but it is one that is really good for the caliber of talent that Tyler Toffoli is. He's got 17 points in 26 games played right now and only 5 goals. He's having a down year, but everybody on Montreal is having a down year. 17 divided by 26 multiplied out by 82. Toffoli is on pace for 54 points, which is definitely not bad for a guy playing on one of the worst teams we have seen in a long time. 
We've mentioned this in the past, but Tyler Toffoli and the contract that he has is kind of the entire reason he was on Montreal in the first place, because the Habs were one of the only teams that was willing to go that fourth year on a contract offer. All the other teams that were reportedly going after Toffoli in the offseason of 2020 were only offering the guy three years, and apparently Vancouver might have been one of them. So... Toffoli getting that extra year, even though he is a little bit on the older side, he is 29 years old, turning 30 in April, there still is a good body of work here that says that Toffoli is a valuable presence in any team's middle or top six. I mean, the guy had 28 goals last year in 52 games played, on pace for like 40-something, if not almost 50, so... Yeah, he was very good last year, even though it was a Canadian division, he still went out there and did his thing, and in the playoffs, it was a lot more of the same. So, for the New York Rangers, if you want to go out there and say that what they need is a trigger man, a guy in Tyler Toffoli who could honestly play a pretty good penalty kill game, but who is never going to really wow you with his skills on the puck. I've literally been saying the same thing since, like, 2020 in the bubble, but Tyler Toffoli is not the guy that you expect to go out there, take the puck in his own zone, skate through the neutral zone, deke out a guy or two, come in towards the goal and send a beautiful cross-crease pass to an open guy who scores. Tyler Toffoli is the trigger guy you send the puck to who will usually score at a pretty nice angle. He's a very consistent goal scorer when he is at his best, and I would like to believe that this season in Montreal is more the exception than the rule. Now, the reason we're even going over this is because Tyler Toffoli's name has been brought up in several trade discussions, or not even discussions, but just kind of like ideas, suggestions, I think is the better word to say here, when it comes to what the Montreal Canadiens could do to really bolster their team into the future, because let's be real here, Toffoli is not really the fastest guy in the world, and he's not really getting any faster, so this is kind of a player that all of a sudden, based off of the direction this team is going down, Bergevin fired, Gorton hired, this team is really bad, we don't know what's going on in the next few years, who knows if a Tyler Toffoli-like player is going to be expendable, and if a New York Rangers team is going to go out there and try to get this guy, hey, they have the amount of cap space to do it. All it would take is whatever package the Canadians could want. Now, what could that package be? I'm not really too sure. We've highlighted this before, but if it's a first-round pick and a prospect or a prospect and a second-round pick or a B-tier guy or maybe a C-tier guy, any of those it could be. It really depends on who you ask. I think the Rangers do have a significant amount of draft capital, really good prospect coverage, and nice guys in their system and the Hartford system that it would be a pretty attainable get without taking out a good chunk of the players on their roster already. If you want to go out there and project what a Rangers lineup could look like with Mr. Ravioli Ravioli, Tyler Toffoli himself in the lineup, I mean, top six, Kreider, Zabanejad, Kako, Panarin, Strom, Barclay Goodrow is over here, they move Lafreniere back down. You could go back and say Tyler Toffoli go back to the right side. He's played right side for a good chunk of his career on the Vancouver Canucks, he was a right winger, but in Montreal, he did actually move to the left wing, despite being a right-handed shot because they wanted that one-timer option on the left, and it worked out really well for him last season. This season, of course, everybody's kind of down in the dumps, so I won't really comment on that. But if you wanted to go out there and say that Tyler Toffoli could be a right winger, be my guest, because that right wing spot was not really utilized properly by Alexi Lafreniere. It was probably one of the more ineffective strategies they tried out, having Lafreniere on the right side rather than the left, which is why Lafreniere now being placed on the left wing on the third line with Cheadle and Rooney is the way they're trying to go about things. And sorry, Barclay Goodrow, I like the guy, but Tyler Toffoli is probably a better fit for that top six, in my opinion, if you really wanted to go out there and try to slot this guy into a lineup. I mean, Panarin, Strom, and Toffoli? This guy made so much use out of Suzuki, and Drewen and all the other guys in Montreal, not to mention, of course, the Pedersons and all of them in Vancouver. But Panarin and Strom would be two of the best players he has ever played with, period. I mean, aside from Anze Kopitar, of course, but like, having a Tyler Toffoli on a Ranger squad could be very, very good. Next season, if you want to go out there and say he's going to start and play full time on this team, I mean, 82 game pace, you want to say 40, 45 goals? It's honestly not the most unrealistic thing, in my opinion, based off of how he played last year. And besides, what a great tour that would be for a guy like Toffoli, going from LA to Vancouver to Montreal to New York. Talk about knocking out all the great hockey cities out there. Living larger than life everywhere he goes, eh? So talk to me in the comments what do you think about the idea of a Tyler Toffoli trade to the New York Rangers, whether or not the Rangers should, could, or would be interested in this kind of player. 
and what exactly a trade package could look like. If you're a Montreal Canadiens fan, let me know in the comments what it is that you would want for a Tyler Toffoli-like player. If you're a Rangers fan, what would you be willing to give up? Talk to me in the comments all your opinions. The link to the article we pulled from the New York Post piece will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.